Today we're heading up to Orlando, Joe Sam's truck alignment to address safety plus was installed with a little bit of a right bias. And also we're going to install a new rear suspension, liquid spring. You'll notice, and I've picked some shots here that, that I hope demonstrate the rocking and uh, basically unpleasant ride characteristics of this chassis. But you notice here how it will rock back and forth several times uh, when you're departing, especially a, a driveway apron. And on turns on the highway, you'll see the rocking here. It doesn't look particularly noticeable, but when you're driving, it really is uncomfortable. Especially when I'm towing. When I tow the car with a dolly and have, when I trucks go blowing by me, I drive 55. Trucks go by me at 70, 75 miles an hour and they'll get the, the RV snaking. Uh, the unit really becomes very uncomfortable. So, and here I always will drive uh, at the recommended turn speed, 25 miles an hour, just because uh, it will lean uh, so much during the turns with the stock suspension. And so we're gonna take it up to Joe Sam in Orlando, uh, a very reputable and skilled uh, chassis, truck chassis alignment specialist, and um, get this liquid spring suspension installed. Essentially, it's a five link suspension uh, with uh, hydraulics, if lack of a better term, hydraulic spring shock combination and the relatively uncomfortable uh, ride characteristics of this of the unit so here we are uh, exit four off of uh, five route 528 in orlando and it just it dem this this one a perfect demonstration of, of how this coach you need to slow down to drive around an exit ramp it really becomes uh, unpleasant especially one under construction because it starts bouncing you back and forth it really starts to rock. But coming up here is a, is a very good demonstration of just how unstable uh, this particular chassis is. Now, I'm, I'm fully loaded, uh, you know, within, oh, depending on how you figure it, and within 500 pounds or so of max, max weight. My uh, rear axle is maxed out at 17.5. The front axle's got lots of room, but it's about 8,020 thereabouts, and it can go up as high as 9,000, but you start doing the math. Uh, and then hauling the car, uh, you, know, you get up to, to max weight pretty quick. And I've got you know all sorts of stuff on the roof, good air conditioners, a satellite dish. So it puts a lot of uh, weight uh, very high. So the center of gravity is, is, is quite high. I also have the uh, residential refrigerator, um, which is heavy, and washer and dryer. But here we are at Joe Sam's. Very large shop, it's got eight bays, um, and you can see tractor trailers everywhere, and, and a few RVs scattered around. But at Joe Sam Truck Alignment, uh, and they're in uh, Orlando, Florida. I, I dealt with Barry, uh, he's a shop manager, very skilled fellow, easy to work with, and really knows equipment. And I, I thought I'd share some images of the interior of his shop. I was not there during the install, uh, I just wasn't able to do that. But here you'll see, uh, his frame straightening equipment. He's a straightening the 18 wheeler uh, tractor cab over. And here's some other images of, of the equipment he uses to make sure that the frame is straight and the wheels are properly aligned. Okay, on the sales brochure it says CLASS. That means Compressible Liquid Adaptive Suspension System. It's a non torque reactive design optimized to maintain proper driveline geometry through a full range of torque inputs reducing driveline noise, vibration, and fatigue, driver fatigue. Very important for me. Uh, variable stiffness and damping adjusted automatically and instantaneously based on road conditions without driver intervention. Uh, it has a collar around the steering wheel so it knows whether you're turning or not and can adjust suspension for the uh, incipient lean. Gets rid of that lean, I can testify to that. It's a very extraordinary system. Uh, very well designed and does what it's advertised to do. It makes the ride extraordinarily comfortable. So here's an overview of the installation on the chassis uh, with the fluid tank and it runs up to a motor that's attached inside the frame. And here are the pieces uh, of the five length. 
and you can see uh, they're all labeled. You see, uh, for instance, the struts and the track bar, track rod mount, and axle mounts, and height sensors. And here's the controller that's put inside the cab, uh, so that I can I can adjust uh, the ride to sport or normal or comfort. Um, it just my preference depending on where I'm driving and also can adjust the height under 10 miles an hour here's the installation on the on the RV uh, you can see the links here's the exhaust we did replace that uh, it needed to make a little more clearance for the uh, links here's the other side of the of the five link uh, just all, all in all a very nice installation and here's the controller on the dash just uh, couldn't be happier with the way it was installed and the way the uh, RV rides. And of course, since we were in Orlando, we had to stop by our Whole Foods market up there to get some provisions. It's a, it's a very large uh, Whole Foods, uh, nicely maintained, uh, nice fresh vegetables, uh, and of course, great coffee. Here's the outside of the Whole Foods. And we did stop by one of our favorite uh, Japanese restaurants um, to have dinner. Uh, their food is always fabulous and is made right in front of you at that sushi bar. Uh, you can watch the chef prepare your meal. Now, I'm not sure how well this translates on film, but just to give you an idea, here's after installation. We're coming back from a trip to northern Florida uh, and going into this uh, road. Uh, you can't see, but the, the road does have a, a very uh, swale to it. And... Uh, Typically, the coach would be rocking back and forth at this moment, but dead straight, completely upright, no wiggling, and this is with the car attached. Uh, we pulled into the uh, driveway, you get a little rock, not bad. Here's pulling out of the driveway. Again, a little rock, not bad. It was caught within a, maybe a, 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 a one roll, and it was immediately caught and stabilized. Just a, really a very comfortable, uh, comfortable ride now with the class suspension installed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, happy trails. See you next time.